the neck and neckery of it all between you and Bronte was out of this world. Tell me, could you actually feel her breath on your neck? Maybe you should interview her sometime. And I thought, maybe. So we tracked her down and she joins us now. Championne, Mary Louise, good morning. Good afternoon, I should say. How are you? <laughs> Brian, I'm good. How are you? I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to talk to you today. <laughs> I know. What a whirlwind. Congrats. Are you still buzzing? Buzzing. I I'm bet. on cloud nine. I Absolutely bet. buzzing, Ryan. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me what happened. I mean, you were, it was, it was, uh, we have a, a gladiator car- correspondent here called Ozzy Jane, and she was telling me that the, the neck and neckery of it all between you and Bronte was out of this world. Tell me, could you actually feel her breath on your neck? <laughs> I actually didn't know it was that close until watching it back on Saturday. Like I thought, I knew I was about two seconds ahead. Yeah. I didn't know it was a photo finish. So, oh my God, if I had waited any second la- later, I was done. She was she was the winner. Yeah. But I think if you saw the semi-finals, that was even closer. Wow, wow. And you just, yeah. you, just you're, you just had that like superhuman strength to get you over the line every time and that, uh, to get you to the yeah, trophy. Yeah, we'll call it that. Let's we'll call, call it that. Your Marvel superpower is the two-second <laughs> yeah. gap. The, the head I think of everybody it's more else. the luck of the Irish. Yeah, I mean, no, but well done. I mean, you were flying the flag for Ireland on that competition, which was pretty amazing. Tell us a bit about yourself and give us some of your background, would you please? Of course. Um, so I'm from, well, originally from Terman and even though the show said I was from Dublin. Okay. And I went to school. I went to school in Dublin. Yes. And basically did, been doing fitness for the past five years. I've been a PT and a coach in London. I'm working in Southwest London. Okay. Um, yeah, and I used to be a private chef before that. But no, working over here, teaching clients, group training, and also one to one. But yeah, hoping to do a bit more TV. And basically, a friend, me and a friend, saw the sign up for Gladiators, watched it when we were younger, yeah. back in the day in the 90s. Mm. Um, and we thought it'd be a bit of fun just to sign up. And then went through all the trials. Never did I think I'd get to the live shows. Wow. Um, and I got the call back last April, and then we did all the, we did all the um, kind of trials from April till June, and then June. They put us on the lives for about two weeks. We did all the filming. And then last minute, it all came out in January. So it was a big wait before it all came out. Yeah, you had it all um, in the can, as it were. and I had then it you... all in the can. I yeah. couldn't tell anyone. Oh, my God. And then, um, and then it all came out. So it was great excitement leading up to it. And then each week, just having family and friends sitting around watching it together. Oh, was how hilarious. much fun. And did you, did you say you were a private chef at one stage? I was, yes. Okay. I was a private chef for four years. Um, just before getting into fitness. I presume a private chef is, is not somebody who works in any restaurant doesn't want to tell them people about their private life. No, it's somebody who, who works for somebody very very rich or something. Is that the idea? Yeah, you go around. I did it in chalets and, and I did it in villas over in Portugal. So oh my goodness. it was great fun. So if you ever need a chef, Ryan, let me yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Do you do a good burger? <laughs> do a great burger. Yeah, oh, now we're cooking now. On. Okay, okay. Uh, now, uh, tell us about uh, family and friends' reaction when you won. I mean, obviously, you, you had to keep that secret too. So how did that go down? What, what have you been up to since Saturday night? So well, my family, actually, a lot of them were in the audience, oh, in okay, the live so audience. Great. We had 5,000 people in the audience wow. when when doing the actual show. Um, so they were all there. So they knew the results. But they had to keep it on the DL as well. So I think it was bit, it was better to keep it a surprise for everyone. Um, so when we were all, on Saturday, I had family come over to London. We had a big, huge party Great. around the TV screen. Great. And, oh, they were all just going crazy. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. crazy. And then the support from even just the general public and people sending me. I had this, um, it was a celebration of the worm. And I used to do it every episode. Yeah. So people would be cel- sending me videos of their kids doing the worm which oh. is, which is hilarious. <laughs> little did you know as you were serving up another burger in a chalet in Switzerland that you'd be doing the worm and spreading the word of the worm around the world and uh, how about Bradley and Barney how were they legends yeah. Bra- Bra- Bradley is absolutely hilarious Great. he's exactly how he is on okay the TV good good in Burston that's lovely. And and what's the plan now? You you mentioned you'd like to do some more TV. Obviously, you've still got your you've got a day job of sorts, but um it it, it is it is it hectic now or is it do you do lots of interviews and things like that or what what's the plan? Um yeah, so it was on a few TV 
um, interviews on the weekend yeah. straight after. BBC kind of organised for us to be on a few TV shows. Um, and then a lot of TV kind of reach out to me. So just kind of, yeah, yeah, taking you in that direction that you want to go. Um, and then hopefully a bit more in fitness. I'd love to kind of promote my online programming programs yeah. and then also get into TV Maybe sign up for another show. You never know. I have, I have no doubt you'll be in there. I mean, it's, maybe it's, Master Chef, right? Oh yeah. Look, I mean, from Private Chef to Master Chef, it's easy. <laughs> Every episode, you burst through the, the, the you, 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 you enter Travelator uh, <clears throat> you, with a pot, pot in one hand, a spatula in the other, doing the worm <laughs> while trying to pour oil into. The, I mean, I can picture this. It's perfect for you. But I make, can picture it too. I, um, do you know how you ended up on the shows? Because you're was it your auntie? On um, Gladiators. No, no, on, on this show, Talking to Me Today. Oh, or- Orla, my auntie, yeah. She she sent in a, a direct message to my Instagram and said, the Irish winner of Gladiators is my niece and her dad grew up on St. Helens Road, which is where my mother is. Um, and, oh, no way. Yeah, I know St. Helens Road. Very, I, I lived for 12 years on the same road as your dad. That is mad, Ryan. Isn't that mad? We have that neighbourhood in common. I mean, that's, this is the sh- incredible shrinking world. That, By the way, Given what you do for a living and how well you eat, I can only say that is all we have in common. Was that uh, we both kind of <laughs> lived nearly on the same road? Everything and else TV, after that, man. and TV, and TV, yeah, and <laughs> and I've seen Gladiator, the film, and we, and also, you know, I mean, you, yeah, that's about it. I can't, I can't uh, offer any other uh, equals. The to funny that. thing was when I when I first found out I was going on the show, I told my dad. And he thought I was going on Gladiators the movie. The remake. <laughs> <laughs> With Russell Crowe. What? I was like, no, no, no. That's... I think I devastated him. Oh, that's so funny. Well, look, I mean, uh, you know, they already have Paul Mescal in there, so the Irish quotient is covered in the new Gladiator film. So they probably yeah. asked you, you refused, you know. Um, I refused. Too <laughs> busy. Are you enjoying life in London? Oh, absolutely loving it, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just go, go, go. You know, there's yes. so many opportunities, so... Um, you just never know what's around the corner. I know, it's, it's an exciting place to be. Hey, look, I hope our paths cross in real life very soon. Congratulations, you're great fun. I'm very happy for you, very proud for you and your family. You're brilliant and thank you for your time today. Real pleasure. No, thank you, Ryan. Lovely to meet you on the on radio. radio and um, <laughs> hopefully a, see you soon. A virtual handshake, you got it. Okay, yeah, look after yourself. Exactly. Mary Louise Nicholson, Gladiator Tricks, you could call her, but she's the star uh, of the Gladiators TV show, the reboot that did so well, and there she is, flying the flag and doing so well. Congratulations. Virgin Radio.